Dreamboat. Dana's in danger. Kill Christian Wolf, transfer all domestic accounts overseas. Current vehicle. F-150. Virus to triple Z. Wipe everything. Done. In the DOT database now, reassigning the license and VIN. Chris is a black money accountant, so he basically goes in and uncooks the books um, in a, um, uh, for whether it's drug cartels or um, um, uh, some, um, you know, a, you know, illegal governments, or it could it could be uh, uh, the mob, organized crime. Um, uh, but he goes in and uncooks the books. He's a he, he audits. He's an auditor in essence. He's an accountant, but he do, but he's he he works outside the law, and he's a mathematical savant. He's a genius, so he can do things that and see things and patterns and numbers that other people can't. This is where you live? No, I don't live here. This is a storage unit. That would be weird. That's what would be weird? I'd like to spend more time here. However, I'm afraid some of my clients might follow me. Why would your clients follow you? You're an accountant. Lamar's a mad genius um, and a scientist, and he hires Chris to come in and uncook the books, to audit the books, because he wants to go public. And he thinks, like, if we get someone to come in and audit and not find the uh, discrepancies, then, then um, a, a, a more uh, uh, a professional um, uh, auditing um, company or accountants would come in, would never, see, would never see what this guy didn't see. What he didn't bank on was that, that Chris is smarter than him. And Chris, and Chris found the, you know, found the holes, and and that, and that 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 became a problem for him. I wanted to study art at the Art Institute of Chicago, but art doesn't pay the mortgage. Art doesn't pay the mortgage, young lady. Dad's taste ran more to dogs playing poker. I like dogs playing poker because dogs would never bet on things, and so it's incongruous. I wanted Anna to play this role because I knew that she would she would come at it from a very di you know it's like she's not she's gonna come through a window rather than a door in regard to how she plays this character and um, and I knew that she would bring uh, some humor and comedy to the role and she's incredibly likable and and the thing about Anna that I I love and I really discovered working with her is that she it's sort of like you know like when Sinatra sings the way he can phrase a song. Anna's like that with dialogue. She can take a dialogue in a scene, and I don't care how many times you've heard the scene in your own head or people, she, it's an entirely new interpretation. And then she would, every take, it would be a, a variation on a theme of how she played it, but it was like the way she phrased things. And then she always had this, um, there's always a physicality to what she's doing too, so she's really in her body and her voice when she acts. and. And um, and for me, like I just can't take my eyes off her. She just holds your eyes. So I thought that she had all the attributes I was looking for for the role. Christian Wolf. Really? Christian Wolf last year ran seventy-five thousand five hundred and forty-three dollars through his accounting Wolf. firm. Who is Christian Wolf? The accountant. What attracted me to it was just its its sort of robust originality. It it just felt unlike anything I'd ever read before, and. Um, and then the central, you know, the center of gravity of the story was Chris. And I just, I fell, you know, like I, I wanted, I just fell in love with this guy. There were some things that we wanted, that, that I thought was important to do just to understand how he, how he had uh, the skills that he has in regard to um, sort of military skills and fighting and weaponry and things like that, which I thought needed to be culled. So, um, so... So that was important to me, but but the, the puzzle there was a puzzle element to the movie that I thought was really unique, and it had a really high kind of IQ kind of, um, and I just I just thought I just wanted to make it. I think it's refreshing to go to a movie and and 
in the first 10 minutes, you don't know how it's going to end. And that doesn't always happen. I think that you have no idea with it. Is this a roller coaster? And, um, uh, you know, the mystery of the character, the mystery of the plot, the, everybody has a secret. Um, what you think something is, is absolutely not what it is. And it's not until the last scene that everything, you know, we slowly, it's like everything's all unraveled and we're slowly over the course of the movie, very slowly, methodically, surgically raveling the story until you have no idea until the end, everything. 